Hello everyone. Hello and welcome. Welcome. W welcome back? No, not welcome back. Welcome to a brand new Let's Play. A game which I tried to start last year and unfortunately I think because of my computer, um, it was running like at high speed for some reason. But a game that I've wanted to do for a long time. So while you watch this beginning bit, I'm just going to read what someone's just commented on one of my videos. Definitely the best game in this series of Splinter Cell. Definitely my favourite game. Definitely the best game in the series at the moment. Um, uh, I don't mind the others. I mean, the others are good. Um, I like uh, the first one. The first one was unique. The second one was adapted from the first one. This one takes it to a whole different level. This game just simply gives you the freedom in my in my eyes you know you've now got a knife you now can actually kill you don't have a game over or mission over if Lambert doesn't like it so because um I'm just gonna do it on normal I'm not gonna do it on hard or anything like that um so yeah I'm just gonna do it normal and yeah I'll let you enjoy this cutscene and I'll see you when we start Exactly. How 
are your sea legs? I haven't lost them. Good. Because the 056 prototype isn't the only new fish in the pond. Admiral Toshiro Otomo, head of Japan's newly formed Information Self-Defense Force, had this to say. This is another distressing attempt by China and North Korea to further depress our faltering economy. The ISDF and Japan appeal to our allies for the military support promised us under the post-war constitution of 1946. The fact remains that in the eyes of many in Asia, the ISDF itself is a violation of the post-war constitution prohibiting Japan from maintaining a military force capable of striking beyond its borders. In Asia, the memories of Imperial Japan are still fresh. Okay, so the first mission. Fisher, an American engineer named Bruce Morgan Holt has been kidnapped by a Peruvian separatist group called the People's Voice. Their suspected leader, Hugo Lacerda, is a hardcore revolutionary preaching information warfare as the only realistic means to achieve revolution in modern society. We need you to get in there and recover or destroy any information Morgan Holt may have been forced to divulge. And if possible, rescue him. As for Lacerda, he's just been bumped onto our target of opportunity list. So if you have a shot, take it. Hostage rescue isn't normally our bag, but Morgan Holt was part of Project Watson, the UN committee that studied Philip Mass's handiwork after Georgia. Some people are worried that this kidnapping is just a cover-up, and that Morgan Holt is being interrogated for classified information about the Mass colonels. The fact is that some of the tricks Mass came up with could be used to do a lot of damage. We need to contain that information at all costs. The target area is a lighthouse attached to an abandoned Spanish colonial-era fortification and some nearby structures. We don't have an exact location on Morganholt, so you'll have to find him yourself. Insertion will be at night by Zodiac onto the beach beneath the fort. Thermal imaging shows that there are some old natural and semi-natural caves under the fort. So you may be able to use those for infiltration. All right, Fisher. The helicopter will drop you a few kilometers offshore in the Zodiac. You'll have one of my Zodiacs and logistical support in and out of the target area. Extraction will be by a helicopter from the top of the lighthouse. This place international holds the contract with Wright Pritchard Technologies to protect their VIPs in potentially hostile situations. We did a thorough threat evaluation for their project in Peru, and we accepted the VIP detail on Morgan Holt. The guys who came after him knew what they were doing. This was not a tourist grab. I lost three good men in the snatch, and I'm currently preparing a rescue plan for approval from Morgan Holt's family and Wright Pritchard. This is going to cost this place a lot of money. Okay. So... In this game, you have um, uh, loadouts. Um, you can choose. You can go assault, where you basically all guns blazing. You know, very limited uh, non-lethal stealth. Where you have more non-lethal or a recommendation. But I'm going to go. Um, I'm not going to use much ammo, so I'm going to go with stealth on this occasion because um, I want to uh, show off some of the ones like a sticky camera. Air Force round, you know, flash grenade, yeah, you know, that kind of thing. So we're gonna go stealth. <laughs> 